Welcome everybody. My name is Carolyn and I'm a PhD student from the University of Bremen. Today I'm presenting our paper, Escaping the Privacy Paradox, Evaluating the Learning Effects of Privacy Policies with Serious Games. This is joint work with my co-authors Jette and Dasha, also from the University of Bremen, and with Johannes from the University of St. Gallen in Switzerland. Let me start the presentation in a very different way. I hope many of you attend the conference in person in Bremen. So who came here by public transportation? I assume many of you did, and some of you have probably used an app to do so. In case you use the app of the local transportation, this is the data privacy policy. Reading it would take you around 40 minutes, but I guess is, but I guess the majority of us did not read the privacy policy. And this is in line with previous research. The previous research tells us that users do not read privacy policies as these legal texts are often too long or too complex. And the consequence is that users often agree to privacy policies without actually reading and understanding them. At the same time, studies have shown that users are in fact often concerned about preserving their data privacy. But the current status quo of conveying this privacy information prevents users from making an informed decision. To overcome this discrepancy, we explored serious gains as a medium to improve the understanding of privacy policies. Previous research has shown that digital games can positively influence knowledge and attitudes regarding a certain topic. So in our work, we therefore implemented a mobile escape room game that presents privacy information through various puzzles. By solving these puzzles, we hypothesize that users are more likely to engage with the content of a privacy policy and thus better understand them. Our mobile game puzzle policy takes place in a lab from which the user needs to escape. To do so, a missing data set must be completed by finding clues or solving puzzles. As a first step in tra translating a privacy policy into an escape room game, we looked at seven virtual and two analog escape room games to identify the commonly used types of puzzles. As a second step, we then analyzed the legal text from a base privacy policy to extract the conveyed privacy information. And this led us to identify similar or corresponding concepts, for example, collected data types, the purpose of data collection, or the data transfer to third parties. These concepts allowed us then to split up the conveyed privacy information into eight smaller units. By breaking down the lengthy privacy statement into these smaller and more digestible parts, the game can integrate all aspects of the privacy policy in the form of puzzles. And this approach of content chunking is known to improve the human learning process. In our game, we use, for example, a handwritten sheet of paper to convey data that is manually entered by the user. The sheet of paper was ripped into multiple pieces that needed to be collected in the environment. To convey data collection that occurs automatically in the background and is therefore less obvious to the user, we chose a different strategy. This kind of information is hidden in the environment and becomes only visible after the user retrieved special glasses that allow them to see those large drawings on the wall. Another puzzle type was, for example, a typical padlock puzzle that could only be unlocked by a combination of four digits. And in addition to these puzzles, our game also offers collectible items within the environment that are highlighted uh, via a golden glitter effect. To evaluate the effect on users' understanding when playing our game compared to reading the privacy policy, we conducted a user study with a between-subject design. We invited 18 participants, of which one half played our game and the other half read the conventional privacy policy. We took the following measurements. Participants' privacy attitude before the experiment task a post-task quiz to assess users' understanding based on knowledge recall. 
task completion time, NASA TLX, and again, uh, participants' privacy attitude now after the experiment. Demographic questionnaire, and we concluded the experiment with a semi structured interview. Our results show that participants playing the game could remember significantly more information than participants reading the privacy policy. In both conditions, participants could additionally achieve bonus points if they correctly remembered collected kinds of data points. Results also showed here a significant difference for these bonus points in favor of the game group. To determine a possible change in participants' attitude towards privacy, we asked them four Likert scale questions on the subject of privacy attitude before and after the task. While small increases and decreases occurred, no significant differences could be found for either of the statements. Participants reading the text were significantly faster, with around eight minutes on average, compared to participants playing the game we needed on average around 33 minutes to finish the task. In addition, the differences in the game group were larger and much more spread out, while in the text group, participants were in a similar range with respect to the completion time of their task. For the task load, statistical testing did not show a difference between the conditions, uh, neither for the overall task load, load nor for individual subscales. In our interview, eight out of nine participants from the game group described their task as fun, good, and interesting. One subject, however, did not like the task because it felt frustrating. In the text group, the task was negatively described six times as boring and difficult, and five times positively described as informa informa informative or educational. To conclude, the escape room game significantly increased users' understanding of privacy statements. However, there seems to be a trade-off um, that needs to be considered between the level of understanding, the time spent, and the level of frustration. At this point, open questions remain for future research regarding appropriate scenarios and target groups. <laughs>